Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys something that I did. I finally finished all the color nail, nail polish um, color wheels um, for my nail polish collection. And I just thought I would show you guys pretty much kind of what I did. So I haven't done like a how my kind of how I store my nail polish thing. But I there should be one coming up soon. Um, as soon as I get myself a camera that will actually like record stuff instead of just using this webcam. But anyways, um, yeah, these are the color wheels. I practically used all of them except for two. Um, so in total it was 180 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sorry guys, I'm really bad at math. Anyways. So it was 180 um like nail pol nail nails. Um minus one, two, three. So technically I have 144 nail polish nail polishes, which I didn't think I had 144 nail polishes, but yeah, apparently I do. Uh, so I will just go through all of my little colors and they don't have names, they're um numeri num they're numbered. So I numbered them here from 1 through 18, and then in the box there's num all of the nail polishes are numbered 1 through 18. So yeah, because each of them have their own box. So starting with the second one, because I don't know if, I'll probably just link a picture to my like nail polish, pic, my nail polish storage pictures, um, and I'll put them on um, my Twitter. Um, so I will post them, post the links down below so you guys could see the way I organize my nail polishes. And then you guys can get more of an idea of how I stored, um, or like what this whole thing is. So, um, number one, if you've seen in my picture, um, I, the first kind of tower thing is kind of like, how do I explain it? It kind of has all of like my rhinestones, my clear nail polishes, like for sealing in my, my, um, my stickers, my my little like line stickers, all like all of my stickers and all of my like nail polish accessories, I guess you can say, are in there. Um so that's why this one is number two because it's kind of like they're stackable boxes, so there's three levels. Um so level one kind of has all of my nail polish accessories, my rhinestone wheels, and and, and not all of them are in there because they don't fit, so I need to buy a whole other box just for my, like, nail polish, um, accessories, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah. And I'm trying to find, see if I can find all of my photos. Um, from my, oh, here it is. I have I had it on my Facebook because my godmother wanted to see. But anyways, they're kind of stacked and wow. The phone is ringing. Don't know who that is. Call from Reiner Kathleen. Why do I even have the phone here? It's like now it's gonna be so Call annoying. From Okay, so, this is the first, the second level, that's why it has a number two. Of course, you guys are going to say it backwards because you guys are on my webcam. But anyways, Hi, then I... my name is Kathy. I was calling about your one-bedroom triplex rental. My number is 594 
That always happens. I feel like every time I start making a video, someone ends up calling. Like, okay, but anyways, they're numbered. When it's like that, that means it's a number one. I just did it so it's easier for me to see, like, oh, where's number one? Right there. So then it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are all, like, my glitters because my glitters and my blacks and whites and grays are all in one. Um, so we start here with, like, a multicolored one, a more baby blue one, and then a turquoise glitter, and then this like polka dot pink glitter and then a like superly fine glitter that you guys can't even see on the camera and then I have another pink glitter I have a hearts one that's like a light pink and then a hearts one that's a dark pink and then I have clear glitter which is shine on crazy diamonds and then I have a white one another white one two pearl ones that are both different um this kind of grayish color this other one this other one gunmetal I believe it's what it's called and this black color so that's all for number one well number two number three holds all my neutrals so it's just kind of the same thing these are all the colors I have in my neutrals um some of them need a second coat but yeah I haven't, I haven't done second coat on these ones. And now for my other box, which is like the, the blushes. But anyways, I have my pink one, which looks like this. This one looks white, but it's really like a really like light, light, light baby pink. Um, it's almost the color of my shirt. My shirt is baby pink, by the way. And it has all these colors. And I like, this makes having my nail polish is so much easier because like I don't have to go like I don't know if you guys are like me but sometimes I'm trying to paint my nails to match like an outfit or something and I paint my nails like say this pink color and then it turns out that that's not the color I wanted like and then I have to go back like take off all the nail polish off of all my fingernails and start from scratch all over and I'm kind of very like picky. I always want my nail polishes to match what I'm wearing because I think it looks kind of weird when you have like lime green nails and like a purple outfit or something like that. Sometimes I do just for like a pop of color. But on the days when I want to look very like matchy matchy kind of thing, I just like tr like trying to like make my nails match. But anyways, um, this makes it a lot easier because if I want to say, oh, what how does this color look on my nails well all I go is like this and oh does it look good yeah okay I like how it looks on my on my skin and then I'll be like oh does it match my shirt or not you know that kind of thing so I kind of wanted this just to be like save me time when I'm doing my nails and also so my boxes snap open from the sides so it's kind of hard because if I'm painting my nails in the night and everyone's asleep I have to like snap open like oh does this box have the color I want or does this box have the color I want um but since the beginning I've always had them all like color coordinate cor color coordinated so that all the purples and pinks are in one all the reds yellows and oranges are in another all the blues greens and turquoise kind of colors are in another one you know like that so that's pretty much how I've had it since the beginning um, actually at first I had a really small box and they were kind of organized by their shape and then as my collection grew I started get, doing more color, coordina color coordinated so here is another one that goes along with the pink and then here are all my red colors from the red box and then here is another one and then my blues and then some of the greens didn't fit over there so they fit over here so these definitely give me enough room to add extra colors like say if I need if I bought an, a new purple or pink color I can add it to this wheel really easily if I have a new reds I can add them to this wheel really easily so I am absolutely in love with this color wheel I really wanted to be painting my nails red but for some reason I like I haven't and I feel bad because I really wanted to paint my nails like crazy colors but anyways those are my nail polish wheels like I said I could give you guys a more like in-depth 
tour of like where I store my makeup box and that kind of stuff. Um, my makeup box. Where I store my makeup. Uh, where I store my nail polish and um, kind of the organization kind of thing. But I pretty much have pictures that I'm going to be posting. So I could definitely post them on my Twitter and then you guys can see them. Um, so yeah. I will talk to y'all later. Sorry that this video is so long, but it's all about all my nail polish stuff. Anyways, um, this pack, it came with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. came with 10 of these wheels, um, and each of them have 18 nails. Um, and I think I, I bought it at Sally's for like $6, which I think that's a pretty good deal. Um. And so my mom even likes the idea of using these as my, like, nail polish swatches. And, and instead of having to, like, paint it over on a piece of paper and be like, do I like how this color looks? Do I know? Okay. And then this also makes it easier for when I'm, like, creating a nail tutorial or something and I'm going to add, like, a flower. Hmm, what color of a flower do I want kind of thing. So, yeah. That is all I have to say. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.